Um, tonight, <laughs> I am going to call the meeting of the Prior Lake Savage Area School Board into order. We will start out with uh, Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, for roll call tonight, all members are present with the exception of Ben Hansen. Uh, next on the agenda is the approval of the agenda. Do I have a, a motion for the approval of the agenda tonight? So moved. By Lee, do I have a second? Second. Second by Stacy. Being no discussion, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, that passes 6-0. Next on the agenda is the consent agenda. The cons Consent agenda items are considered to be routine in nature and will be enacted by one motion. There's no separate discussion of these items unless a board member requests or a citizen so requests, in which event the item will be removed as a consent. And uh, do I have a motion for the ex uh, on the consent agenda are the resignation, terminations, and non renewals? Do I have a motion for the acceptance of the consent agenda? So made. By Stacy, do I have a second? Second. By Mary. <coughs> all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, that passes 6-0. Next on the agenda is the resolution for the acceptance of gifts. Each item on the resolution does not, uh, uh, but this, since this is a resolution, uh, whole, uh, roll call vote of the board is requested. And on tonight's acceptance of a gift is a gift from Sambu Technologies for classroom use at Edgewood and ECSE. Do I have a uh, motion for the acceptance of the gifts? So moved. By Todd, do I have a second? Second, second by whom? Me. By Stacy. This is a resol resolution, so it's a roll call vote. Uh, Melissa? Aye. Aye. Please. Lee? Aye. Aye. Mary? Aye. And Todd? Aye. That passes 6-0. Next item on the agenda is a Laker Pride, and I will hand it over to Dr. Stalo. Good evening, everyone, and thank you very much. Uh, we have some national recognition uh, to give this evening. Um, well, this is now, now, I may need some help with the number. I believe the fifth elementary school, fourth elementary school, fifth, fifth elementary school um, in our district that has earned the recognition as the United States Department of Education Green Ribbon School. Uh, as well as a district sustainability uh, award that we also have as a district. I don't want this to ever sound like old news because the newness of it happens in the day-to-day -day work that our teams do, not only to earn the recognition, but to maintain and to live and breathe truth into the recognition at a national level. So we are so proud to recognize this evening um, our latest re uh, red uh, green ribbon award winners, um, Lola DeLago and Edgewood. And I think, Richie, you've got a team here this evening that you are going to talk a little bit more about. So I will hand it over to you. Not minimizing at all the amazing work that goes into the application, into the recognition, into um, making everything happen so that you have so much to actually submit an application around. So I'm gonna let you take it from here, all right. Um, first of all, thank you, uh, members of the board. It was an incredible honor to fly out to our nation's capital to represent um, not only um, Lola de Lago and Edgewood Early Learning, but also just to represent the, our district. Um, as Dr. Stella shared, there were 47 um, re recipients of this award, national, across the entire nation. I think there were three from Minnesota. So it was very neat to be there. Um, uh, I'd like to introduce the group that went out there with us. We had um, Sue Moan, um, our district naturalist. Um, I'll come back to a couple of comments on that in a second here. Uh, we had Michelle Proson, uh, one of our early childhood family education parent educators that was there and was also uh, played a big part in the ap actual application and uh, she'll share with you in a minute. Um, we also had Julie Sink, uh, director of business services, joined us and board member uh, Ben Hansen uh, was out there with us. And we also had grade three uh, Lola Lago teacher, uh, Veronica Ransom, who's not able to be here tonight. Um, just a couple things I'd like to share. I can share with you guys. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, uh, 
the, the biggest part I took away was the th work that we're already doing as a district. I couldn't believe um, w the, the two things that kind of set our application apart from the feedback we heard was that we had it done in the target language in Spanish, but also that we had it done in a, uh, with our early learning programs and our nature-based preschool that we've heard so much about, as well as our ECFE classes. Um, but the two things that stuck out the most when we talked with other schools was what we're already doing as a district. Um, one of our schools that, I'll, I can just share a brief example with you, they had just installed um, light sensors in their buildings. Um, and that was their thing, to reduce that savings. And I was like, wow, I've, every single room in our district has that currently in there. And then the other one was um, the fact that we have a district naturalist on staff. <laughs> um, that, was, that was really huge. There were a lot of partnerships with uh, nature centers, or lots of partnerships with uh, community groups, but the fact that we actually have a, a staff member on staff, you know, we, we're living and breathing the mission of our ESTEM, uh, which we stay in our strategic plan. So with that, those were kind of the two things. Um, not only was it a great time to be out there, we got to meet uh, Senator, Senator Klobuchar and Senator um, uh, Al Franken as well. That was a nice, uh, nice thing to be, represent Minnesota out there. And uh, we have a brief little presentation to share with you. Well, Richie just asked us to prepare some of the things that we took away. Um, and first, I'd like to just say thank you very much for allowing me the opportunity to be part of the nomination committee to write the application and to go along. Um, as a family educator, I particularly like this quote from um, Andrea Falcon, who is the director of the Green Ribbon Schools and Facilities Committee. Um, she says, the honorees, meaning all of the honorees of the Green Ribbon Award, are ensuring that their students live, learn to live, work and play with sustainability and health in mind, not as an afterthought, but as an integral part of everything they undertake from cradle to career. As someone who works with children from cradle and as their parents are working towards their careers, I felt that was a great quote to kind of represent um, my part that I played in the um, application. Also just wanted to um, share a little bit, because we know how important it is to engage families as partners in education, 